It gives me enormous pleasure to announce that Melbourne will host the lightweight world title fight between George Cambosis Jr. and Devin Haney right here in Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. They call him the dream, but now that it's signed, reality is going to kick in. And day by day, that reality, reality is going to set in stone. It will finally be a king of the lightweight division and uh, it will be me. But he says he will finish his fight as a king. What's a king to an emperor? I am the emperor. I've gone and done that, and now I will conquer even more. What, what, what am I gonna be upset about? I'm about to become undisputed. This is a dream come true for me. What am I gonna be up, upset about? You sound very angry. You sound very upset. I wanna see that energy when you step in here on June 5th with me. <laughs> I wanna wear these belts on June 5th. I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna show you how to wear the belts on June 5th. Reality's kicking in. You ain't gonna go near them. I'm so ready. Uh, this is something that I've always dreamed of. Uh, I never thought that it would be happening like this, but just to be fighting for Undisputed is, is a dream come true uh, of mine. So that's why when it was when it was an option for me to go over there, mm -hmm. I didn't say I'll take it one time. I said I'll take it twice. You were denied uh, a visa to Australia this week on a 30-year-old drug conviction. You finished your time long before Devin was born. You've been in his corner his whole career, now he's on the other side of the world. What did you all tell each other before he got on that plane? Uh, Devin said that uh, he, assured, he assured me that he was going to go and he was going to bring back the belts. And uh, it wasn't gonna be any, any problem. George Cambosis Jr. and his American opponent, Devin Haney meet right here for the first time before they meet in the boxing ring this Sunday, June 5, at Marvel Stadium for the winner takes all, undisputed. Unified World Lightweight Champion title. About to go through every bit of adversity. I've had to earn my belts. Earned them the hardest way. Not like this guy. Got given a present. I earned mine. I took the best out. There's nothing that he could do in the ring that's better than me. Um, and I will show it on, on fight night. Um, I, take, I take nothing away from him. I think that he's a good fighter, but I just think I'm on a whole different level. Beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait. Come on, baby. Get after it. It's a facade. It's a facade. That shit ain't real. I have manifested everything, every part of this journey. They said we would never be here, but only two people really believed it me and my father. So uh, I've manifested my victory. And like I said, victory by any means on Sunday. He can say what he want to say. Uh, I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless when we step into that ring. And uh, I will come out victorious by any means. from Margaret Crawled Arena here in Melbourne, just a short distance away from Marble Stadium. The venue for tomorrow's historic fight between George Cambosis Jr. and Devin Haney, who we're going to see very shortly. He's the undefeated WBC lightweight champion of the world, Devin the Dream. George Cambosis Jr. will have two hours to make the way. Good news for you overnight with the news coming through that your father, Bill Haney, and your trainer, of course, 
had been granted a late last minute visa uh, approval by the Australian government to be here in your corner tomorrow. What did that mean to you? What was your reaction when you heard that news? Uh, that meant everything to me. Thank you to the Victorian government for uh, making it happen. Um, thank you, God. And uh, I can't wait for my dad to make it. It has been a dramatic morning and only adds to the fuel of what we will see tomorrow. Lightweight Championship of the World with all the belts officially underway now tomorrow. Hey, Bill. Welcome Sir. to Melbourne. Thank you, thank you. I come here for my boy. What's he gonna do tomorrow? Oh, he's gonna put on a hell of a performance. I know the people are uh, the people are gonna be surprised at his growth. Devin, I'm on my way. Cambosos, you in trouble. Jim, George. I don't like what you've been doing with my son. It's going down, I'm, I'm on my way. Cambosos, you in trouble. You done said a lot, you done did a lot. Tomorrow, you are in trouble. Competing storylines here. On one side, you have Cambosos, the conquering hero, return home after years of fighting abroad. He wants his respect, he wants his glory. On the Devin Haney side, you have the young protagonist who's passed through a series of trials until he gets here halfway around the world. He wants his respect. He wants his glory. Either way, the circumstances are right to box for boxing to consecrate a new hero. Look for that uppercut of Cambosis to find a home. Oh! That time, he paid the price coming forward. Too slippery. Ooh, he did let those combinations fly. Ooh, nice. There's a right uppercut. Oh, it rings with a left hook. <laughs> Story of the night has been that jam. He needs to close the gap quickly. Pick up those legs. Oh, oh, right hand. She hurt him with that right hand. Right hand comes in from Haney. Oh, right hand from Campo. Oh, right hand over the top. And they are bubbling up with confidence in the corner of Devin Haney. On top of the ropes, and will he soon find out he's on top of the world? All three judges have it for the winner by unanimous decision. From Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, now the universally recognized undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Devin the Dream. Devin the Dream Haney, at 23 years old, the Vegas resident will head back to the States with every belt there is to grab onto. From his great amateur career to traveling the country with his father and taking this fight, traveling to Australia, taking the rematch clause. Good job, Peter. Good job, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Put your hands on, man. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are True warrior. I, I truly thank you for giving me yeah. the opportunity. No, no, look, All I these wanna, other guys were stuck in the dodging, yeah. Yeah. and uh, he was a man aware. Yeah. You said you were going to give me the opportunity, and you yeah. did. Look, I just want to fight the best. The zero. Fought the best, and obviously you're one of them guys, man. So yeah. I respect it. Tonight you uh, you had your your victory, and enjoy it, man. I've got to change that up, and uh, hopefully we see you in November.